Hello and welcome to your weekly reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And this week I'm going to connect with the Dragon Oracle cards because we've got a powerful week ahead. We start this week, Monday is the 29th today. We move into August this week and we've got the new moon coming in on Sunday. So it's a very, very powerful week ahead. There's lots of changes. We're moving towards the Lion's Gate portal, gaining courage and strength, seeing things clearly, receiving visions and dreams. And I feel it's going to be a week of dreams. I feel for the Twin Flame Collective, the masculines are going to be dreaming very powerfully about the Divine Feminine, especially as we move towards the new moon. We've been picking up all on that energy over the weekend. And I feel these dreams are going to continue. So having vivid dreams, lucid dreams, dreaming about the future, purging through things in dreams. Dreams are going to be very powerful and astral visits as well. So I'm going to bring in the dragon oracle because it is the year of the dragon and the dragons are assisting this year and bringing a lot of power in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a dragon energy around the week itself. I'm going to pull an extra card for the new moon. And then we're going to connect with the energies around Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So thank you, angels and dragons. What's the energy coming in around the week? Thank you. Can we have an energy, please, around Monday and Tuesday? An energy coming in around Monday and Tuesday. What do we need to be aware of? Thank you, angels. What clearer card than that, please? clear card for Monday and Tuesday an energy around Wednesday and Thursday I feel that one needs to come in with Monday as well an energy around the weekend Friday Saturday and Sunday and can we have a card for the new moon wow I feel it's that one okay I'm going to take these cards as extra cards around the new moon though so let's start with the energy of the week so the energy of the week is the silver dragon now this is one of my favorite dragons to come through the silver dragon opens doors the silver dragon prepares you for opportunities, prepares the way, creates the way for change and doors to open to bring in what you've been asking for. So this dragon is illuminating your potential with higher light, which is saying there's potential all around you and you're being made aware of that potential within you and around you. So in other words, this is also connected with you following through on your goals and dreams thinking about what talents you have inside, what you've come here to do, what you want to do in your career, what you want to do in your life. This is about you recognizing that you are powerful. It's about you believing in yourself and moving forward. Access and accept, they give me the word accept, access and accept untapped resources. So it's about allowing yourself to tap into your truth, your creative talents, the things that you've been born with that you enjoy to do and tapping into the resources of heaven, knowing that you have enough, that you are protected, that you are guided, that you are supported and accessing that information, looking into your soul for the answers, seeing higher possibilities, knowing that anything can happen because you have the power of heaven with your side, by your side. So anything can happen. So this is going to be a week of possibilities. And let's see what the new moon is bringing in. Look at this, the earth and water dragon. So the new moon is bringing in a foundation, a foundation for new growth, fertile energy, new beginnings, a fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. So the silver dragon is illuminating you to your potential and the earth and water dragon is creating the potential for the new foundation a solid foundation, something that's bringing in a new beginning, new life, something wonderful. So I feel this week as a week of preparation, which is what I'm really feeling anyway as we move forward. Dreaming, creating, understanding, reflecting. These are all energies that will help you as we move ahead. So we're preparing really for the week ahead with the lion's gate. So this is a powerful one. So the new moon is bringing in fertile ground and a solid foundation to create a new beginning. And the silver dragon is opening you up. So Monday and Tuesday, we've got two cards. Look at this, the rainbow dragon. So you're being reminded as we start this week that you are protected, that you are safe. The everything happens for a reason. The everything is happening exactly as it's meant to with hidden blessings. You're exactly where you're meant to be. This rainbow dragon is bringing the leap of joy that opens new doors. So we're getting this constant message coming through for this week that new doors are opening, new beginnings, possibilities, great 
time of change. You're being asked to have faith and to have trust, to rediscover your own wisdom within you, to accept opportunities, to tap into resources and expect miracles. So miracles are coming into your life this week. There's power ahead and your journey is protected. And we've got the alpha dragon, very powerful, harnesses the divine masculine power of creation. And the alpha dragon is saying, you are a leader. You are strong. You are taking control of your life. You're destroying the old. Anything that's old is going. And when I say old, I mean things that don't serve you anymore. Past connections, past relationships, old habits, negative behaviors, patterns of behavior that just don't serve you. You're getting rid of the old and you're also visualizing your dreams. So again, as I said, dreams are going to be very important between now and the new moon. I definitely feel if you're a twin flame connecting with this, your divine masculine is dreaming about you and visualizing their dreams and connecting with you in dreams, especially today and tomorrow as well, helping to manifest a new world. So the alpha dragon is creating the way. The silver dragon is bringing in opportunities and possibilities. And the rainbow dragon is reminding you that your journey is protected. So great things are coming in. This is going to be a very powerful week. I also feel you may see feathers or you may also see yellow flowers. Yellow flowers are a symbol of hope. It's really powerful, actually. I went in the garden over the weekend and there's a yellow flower growing on its own. And that's a symbol of hope. And I feel you're being given the symbol of hope either through a rainbow today or a feather or a yellow flower, or some other way that says to you all as well. And you're also harnessing your own energy. So I feel this is balancing the feminine and masculine energies within yourself. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the blue dragon from the Pleiades. This is also very much connected with Archangel Michael. So what I'm connecting with Wednesday and Thursday is strength coming in. Prepares you to accept source healing. So again, you're being prepared. You're being prepared for a healing. You're being prepared for communication. You're being prepared for recovery. There's great things coming in. So there's accept a heart activation, give and receive heart healing. So Wednesday and Thursday, it's so important that you are in the energy of giving and receiving equally. I feel there's balance coming in Wednesday and Thursday. Being able to communicate equally. Being able to give and receive equally. So your heart is opening to that. So if you're waiting for communication, it's going to be equally balanced communication. It's not going to be where you feel you're the one doing all the work or you'll feel you're reaching out all the time. It's going to be balanced. And that's what the heart is awakening for. Because remember, if you're a twin flame, this is also the energy around them. They are also going through a heart healing, a heart activation. They are also being prepared through their dreams to accept healing right now. And source healing comes from heaven calling on the angels. I feel this also a message for you. Whatever you're going through Wednesday and Thursday, make sure you're praying for help. You're calling on the angels to assist you. You're trusting in the universe. You're having faith in who you are. You're believing in yourself. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you've got the orange dragon. And the orange dragon is connected with abundance and prosperity and also brings you together. It says bring soul families and communities together, spreads belonging, warmth and oneness brings people everywhere together. So it's going to feel like a togetherness over the weekend. You may come together with your family. You may come together with friends. You may come together with soul family. Maybe you're on the channel, maybe in this reading or maybe on a live we do. But by the weekend, you're going to feel where you belong. You may even have found this video by chance today. Maybe this is the first time you're checking me out here and you feel like you've belonged. Wow, I found somewhere that I can connect with. And we're all a family, we're a community here, a family, and we are one. We're here to help each other through the good days and the bad days. We're there to be there for each other no matter what's going on. But I really feel this orange dragon is saying to you, abundance is coming, magic is coming. You're going to reconnect with your person. You're going to be together the way you want to be. Your family, their family, it's all about acceptance. The right things are coming in at the right time. And that's what we're moving towards with the Lionsgate portal in this powerful new moon. Now, I've got some extra cards coming through here. We've got the gold and silver violet flame dragon, transmuting the old around you with wisdom and grace. So this is allowing you to let go of the past, to forgive the past and to feel free, to embrace the present moment and what's ahead. 
It's time for transformation, magic and healing. Offer service under grace. And you can offer service to others. You're in your community or in your family or in your friendship circle or here on the channel by being kind and gentle. Forgive me fear, by releasing fear and focusing on love. So this whole new moon is to release fear. They give me a lot of fear there that's being rejected and repelled out to focus on faith and love. We've got the lilac fire dragon transmuting through the power of love. So there's a lot of transmuting happening. You know, the full moon is also about release and the new moon is about creation. And I feel the residual energy of the full moon, and it was a stag moon, which is very powerful about transformation and change, is releasing. So there's still things being released this week. There's still things being learnt and understood to move forward into this new moon energy where there's a newness coming in, a new beginning, a doorway opening. And as you start next week, you're going to feel that even more. We've got the source dragon as well. So the source dragon is saying, be still. In the silence, the magic can happen. Just be in the moment. So if you're worrying about being silent or you're worrying about no communication with your person or you're worrying about something taking its time or a delay, maybe you're waiting for a job offer or you're waiting to hear about something or from someone, be in the moment. There's magic happening during the stillness. Things are being transmuted. The angels are saying, open yourself up to transcendent love and enlightenment. There's a purity occurring in the heart because you're going through a heart activation. It will bring peace in. It will bring in hope. It will bring in joy. It will allow you to connect with what you want so you can expand your vision. So you can create your dreams. And source healing is also attuning you to the infinite, reminding you that you are an eternal being. And the magenta dragon is enabling you to bring forward your soul wisdom. So you awaken your soul memories and messages and your higher spiritual understanding. The angels are saying to you, prepare this week for accelerated ascension. So if you do go through any things in the physical body, remember it's part of your journey, it's ascension. You're also going to be feeling your person's energy, you're feeling collective energy because you're more tapped in and tuned in with the connection you have with source. You are an empath, you are a healer, you are sensitive, you are clairvoyant, you are clairsentient, you are a healer in many ways. So allow yourself to feel what you're feeling in your body and to know if you are having any feelings of uncomfortableness in the body. If something feels uncomfortable to you because you're going through a physical symptom like a heart palpitation because your heart's opening or maybe because you're understanding things and processing things, you're going through digestive things. Just know your body knows what to do and this too shall pass. And obviously, if you feel you need to see a doctor or a healer, do what you're guided to do. But ultimately know that you are strong and you are connected. And when you call on the angels, they can assist you. They are preparing you and getting you ready for not only the next chapter of your life, but your divine union with your person and your whole mission and purpose. So if things have been changing in your life, if you've been changing your job, maybe you've moved home or you've redecorated or someone's moved in or out or you've relocated or there's been some big severe change that may have seemed like a shock to you, it's all happening for the right reasons. So you can let go, breathe and enjoy where you are because better times are coming. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.